everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. This is Laura coming to you today from The Last Days Ministries. And today I want to show you a very good reference um, about the New Apostolic Reformation. Um, now this video is called A Tale of Two Kingdoms. Kingdom Now, which is Dominion Theology, versus Kingdom Come. Okay, so what this gentleman does, his name is Sandy Simpson, and Sandy Simpson is actually from a website called deceptioninthechurch.com. Now, there is tons and tons and tons of information concerning false teachers on there. He is an amazing apologist, and I have to say I really admire him. Now, the thing is, on this particular video, he gives a list of people that are involved in the New Apostolic Reformation and the New Age of the Latter Rain. Uh, they also call it Dominion Theology. They all call, also call it Joel's Army, the Manifest Sons of God. All of those things can be called that, but today they have named it the New Apostolic Reformation. So what I want you to understand, when it was first founded in 1948, it was called the New Order of the Latter Rain. But now it's called... Um, the new apostolic reformation they changed the name because they didn't want people because people were all starting to recognize oh this is a false gospel the assemblies of god threw them out because it was a false gospel back in 1948 they threw them out because they were um trying to impart the holy spirit to other people which is unbiblical for the first place i mean when, when we get saved the holy spirit comes into our temple and we are sealed until the day of redemption there is no imparting the holy ghost into anybody else okay so that's unbiblical but anyway so that's what they did the assemblies of god when they were a bit more how can i put it a bit more um i suppose orthodox <laughs> in their belief systems because um, some of the assemblies of God are still okay, but some of them aren't okay. But anyway, he gives a list of these people. Now, I want to just clarify something before I, I show you this list. There are some people in this list that have, that are, that have died and that are passed on and deceased. Okay. And the reason why I'm showing you these people is because still, some, although some of these men and women are deceased, there are still people that are listening to their doctrines and their belief systems. And still, unfortunately, this is what happens with these types of teachers. Their legacy just continues on. Um, the bad legacy that they left behind continues on. Now I have to say, I don't know what happened to any of these souls that did that did die that's up to god that's not up to me i am not god i am simply a tiny little human being on this earth that the spirit of god has created and that's all i am so i can't tell you what happened to those people we don't know okay but i think it's important that you know um of these people so that when you come up up against say robert schuler who is now deceased that you know, well, he was involved with these types of people, etc. So, so that you have like the uh, the jigsaw puzzle put together. Now there are. I'm going to show you a list of people, but there are a lot more, and I'll deal with that at another time because there's a lot here for you to, to ingest, I suppose. So this is the first. I'll leave the link underneath and the um, website. Now here I have done. Let me just put this down here, guys. Now. Here I have is a list of people that are involved in the New Apostolic Reformation that teach Dominionism, Kingdom Now, okay, New Order of the Latter Reign, False Doctrine, okay. They remember what I said, they teach that Jesus is going to come for the seven mountains, okay, and they're all going, these people are all going to take the mountains for the false Christ, okay, the I call it the Christ consciousness spirit, okay, because it's not the Christ of the Bible. So let's just look at these men. Now, the first guy you're looking at there is a guy called um, Brian McLaren. Okay, so here's C. Peter Wagner. Now, he is deceased, but he was one of the main founders of the New Apostolic Reformation, okay? He was the quote-unquote head apostle. As you guys know, there's no such thing as apostles today. The apostles were um, 
But the apostles were the twelve apostles. There is no apostles today. These are self people that are putting themselves up as apostles. But that gentleman has is deceased now. This gentleman is called Carlton Pearson, okay? And he would have been word of faith. I think he's one also that teaches that there is no hell. Okay, so this guy here is called Chad Taylor and he would be involved in it also. This guy is called Christian Harfouche. Um, so we go on to here. We have Chuck Pierce. I'm sure many of you are aware of Chuck Pierce. Um, he's got his own ministries. He's heavily involved in, in the New Apostolic Reformation. In fact, he's an apostle. He calls himself Apostle Chuck Pierce. Okay, so here we have Chuck Colson. He is deceased. He was part of that as well, the New Apostolic Reformation. Here we have Cindy Jacobs, who believes that she is, an, is a prophet to the nations, and also I think they call her an apostle. So the next gentleman here is Bishop Clarence McClendon, and he also is involved in it. Um, this guy is called Colin Dye. Now, for those of you who don't know Colin Dye, the English people would know him. He's an actual word of faith mogul also in Kensington Temple in London. So if you're listening from London, uh, you'll recognize his face. But if not, um, you know now that this is an English gentleman and he is with the New Apostolic Reformation. This is an obvious face, uh, Creflo Dollar. Creflo Dollar who teaches that Jesus is not God. Uh, Creflo Dollar who is heavily involved in the prosperity gospel that wanted $60 million to get his plane. Um, and he's in the Word of Faith movement also. Now this guy is called Dan, Dan Kimball and he's in, involved in the emergent church. It's kind of like they don't really have any proper doctrines. What they do is they just discuss the Bible and uh, Anything that they have, it's kind of like stick and jello to the wall because they don't know what they really believe. So that's Dan Kimball and he's a merchant, but he's also involved in the new apostolic reformation. Now this guy is called David Hogan and he's from Freedom Ministries and he also is involved in the new apostolic reformation. And um, this guy was called Don Stewart. Now as you can see, this guy is a word of faith mogul, a uh, green prosperity handkerchief, you know, all that kind of nonsense. Um, so here we have a guy called Doug Patchett. Now he's also involved in the emergent movement um, where they just discuss discuss doctrine and they don't have any proper doctrine so you can't really sort of say what they believe and what they don't but he's also involved in the new apostolic reformation and um, this guy is called Dutch Sheets a lot of you will know of him he's a word of faith mogul he's also very much involved in mysticism and he is um, also involved in the new apostolic reformation this guy is called El Salviso and he is also involved in the new apostolic reformation this guy, you'll know this guy, his name is Ed Young. He's um, very much hip with the kids and stuff like that. And he is very much into the new apostolic reformation. Um, here we have Ernest Angley. Now, Ernest Angley is horrendous. He's as bad as Benny Hinn. He's just all about the money, word of faith, doctrine, and there's his lovely rug on him. But anyway, <laughs> let's continue. That's New Apostolic Reformation. Okay, continue. Okay, this guy is Francis Frangipan. And Francis Frangipan, again, is involved in New Apostolic Reformation. Fred Price, word of faith mogul, and um, believes that uh, Jesus wore design her clothes stuff like that okay so again new apostolic reformation this gentleman is called gene edwards uh, i think he's deceased as far as i know and he was an um involved in the new apostolic reformation so again here we have george otis again he new apostolic reformation and now this guy is called gerald coates now gerald coates is an english gentleman who um came over to Ireland. I saw him here in Ireland when I was a baby Christian, but he would be heavily involved in the New Apostolic Reformation also. This woman is called Gwen Shaw. She's deceased, but she was involved also. Uh, Jack Deere, he's involved also. Um, Jack Hayford, he is a kind of mystic, um, I think word of faith and very much nar. Um, okay, we know Jesse Duplantis. Jesse Duplantis is um, 
basically he's a word of faith mogul he said that god can't command anyone to live because he doesn't have the power to do so but that we have to use our words and the words will bring about power in our lives to get what we want like a car or whatever same story word of faith mogul also new apostolic reformation of course we know joel osteen everybody knows joel osteen so i don't need that's kind of self-explanatory but he's also involved in the word of faith movement and the new apostolic reformation we have john arnott who was involved with the toronto blessing which if you look back into the toronto blessing it goes way 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 back to william branham and william branham did not teach the trinity he's a total heretic but this all these roots are coming from william branham so that's john arnott okay so this guy is called john brevere now oh no is that michael sorry no that's mike bickle I don't know why I put down. That's Mike Bickle. Mike Bickle is is the head of IHOP, um, and he is heavily involved with Bill Johnson, Bethel, um, the New Apostolic Reformation, Francis Chan, all of these types he is involved with. Okay, so the next guy, this guy is called John Crowder. Now, this guy is absolutely revolting. He is... As you can see there, it says money, sex, beer, and God. He basically smokes baby Jesus and calls it marijuana. Um, and it, it's just horrendous. It's just really evil. But I'll have to do a video on him very soon, and I will. I'll, I'll do videos on these people as we go during the year. So the next person we look at, John Kilpatrick. Now, a lot of people don't really realize about John Kilpatrick. John Kilpatrick is... um basically he was involved in the toronto and the pensacola movement which goes back again to william branham he's also involved in the new apostolic reformation and is very good friends with nathan morris i haven't got nathan morris up here but he the both of them are heavily involved in the new apostolic reformation okay so the next guy here is is john wimber now john wimber is deceased but he would have been one of the co-founders of um this kind of movement like a mysticism movement and he would have been involved in the new order of the latter reign which is called now the um the new apostolic reformation so he was he was very instrumental he allowed a lot of the weird manifestations that we see now he allowed that into the church and didn't stop it when he was warned to do so he didn't so the next guy we're looking at here is called john dawson now a lot of people don't really know who john dawson is he is just he's another guy that is involved in the new apostolic reformation okay so this woman is joy dawson now i think joy dawson has actually um is deceased but she was involved very much so in the new apostolic reformation of course joyce meyer we all know who joyce meyer is i don't think that's self-explanatory word of faith teacher new apostolic reformation teaches a false gospel that jesus had to go to hell and was was basically um beaten up in hell by demons and the demons were all laughing and she believes that we're little gods and uh, so this woman is an utter heretic okay so this is juanita bynum now juanita bynum is very very full of herself she calls herself a prophet and uh, if you've ever watched her on tv she's very much into money she made a video there a good few years ago where she said that she didn't want a big pen but that she wanted a pen for five thousand dollars now unfortunately the video has been taken down since that but she still is very much a false teacher and teaches false doctrines again new apostolic reformation and a false prophet this guy here is called carl strader and he um i think he's uh, deceased also he was also involved in the new apostolic reformation <laughs> Here we are. Kenneth Copeland, no need, but let's just say in case people, some people don't know, this guy is a word of faith mogul. In other words, it's a metaphysical um, cult that goes back to a guy called Phineas Quimby. Phineas Quimby was friends with Mary Baker Eddy, and they believe that if you speak something out of your mouth, it will come to pass. Now, we know that uh, Kenneth Copeland very recently, actually not that long ago, probably about a week ago, got another jet 
for his ministry, quote unquote ministry. But this guy is a Luciferian. In other words, he worships Lucifer and he what he does is he twists the gospel around um and makes out that that really he even said like in one of his clips that God is the biggest loser that ever lived. So this guy is just demonic beyond demonic and if you you know the Bible says the eyes are the window to the soul and as you look you will see that his eyes are very wicked. Okay, so here we have Kenneth Hagen, and he was one of the grandpappies of the Word of Faith movement, and before him was E.W. Kenyon, and before him was Phineas Quimby. Now, what he did, what these people do, and you'll see uh, Robert Schuller there as well, what they did was they took Jesus and they Christianized witchcraft. In other words, you speak something, it comes to pass, it's like a spell, and uh, you will then get what you desire because you've spoken it. But he was also, this guy's also been involved in the manifestations where he's blowing on people and people are falling all over the place and it's just horrendous. He was involved in the new apostolic reformation. Okay, so this guy now is is gone. He's uh, deceased, this guy called Kim, Kim Clement. He was, he's deceased very, very very uh, recently and he's heavily involved in the word of faith and also the new apostolic reformation okay so this guy is larry Co larry hutch now how larry hutch is a total heretic he, he doesn't believe that jesus is the only begotten son of god and he's very good friends with paula white now larry hutch is a total heretic he's also involved in the word of faith movement and he's also involved in give me your money and you know that kind of ministry where not even a ministry it's basically I don't know, charlatan. Okay, so the next thing I want you to see is a guy called Leonard Sweet. He's also involved in the new apostolic reformation. This guy here is called Manasseh Jordan, and Manasseh Jordan is again involved in the new apostolic reformation, and he's a give me your money merchant. So the next guy here is called Marcus Bishop. And he too is involved in the new apostolic, Marilyn Hickey. Marilyn Hickey um, basically says, speak to your billfold, you big billfold. And whatever you speak to this billfold, the money will increase. Now, this is what this woman teaches. She also teaches about generational curses, which is unbiblical because we're only... Um, and I will do a video on this actually, because we're only responsible for our own sin. We're not responsible for the generations. But I'll do a video on that at some stage. Okay. So here we have Michael Brown. Now Michael Brown is a an an how can I put it? Is kind of how can I put it? He is somewhat orthodox that he believes that Jesus is God. However, he is heavily involved in the new apostolic reformation he even um, starred in sid roth's show he took over from sid roth for a while and he defends uh, basically he defends heretics very much so and he's involved in the new apostolic reformation but he's, he'll deny it but he is um, he also went on to Benny Hinn to talk to him for three times and, and still refuses to admit that Benny Hinn is off the wall. Anyway, so here we have Mike Murdoch. We know about Mike Murdoch. He is a word of faith, new apostolic, charlatan and crook that takes, takes advantage of very, very vulnerable, precious souls. So again, Mike Murdoch, another um, charlatan who's all about the money, New Apostolic Reformation again. Um, this guy, we have Mar Cirillo, heavily involved in the ecumenical movement, um, very much into give me your money, very much into word of faith doctrine. He is a total wolf, total charlatan, stay well away. Okay, so this guy is called Nicky Gumbel. Now, for those of you who don't know Nicky Gumbel, Nicky Gumbel is in England. He's an Anglican minister, and he was heavily involved in the Toronto Blessing. And he started up a group called Alpha, the Alpha Alpha Group, um, or the Alpha Movement, whereby they try and get people to talk about Christianity. But the Christianity that he's talking about is a completely different Christ than the one of the Gospel. So, um, yeah, so this one is to be avoided. Again, he was heavily involved in Toronto Blessing. Like I said, the Toronto Blessing goes back into the lineage of the New Order of the Latter Reign, where they believe impartation of spirits 
into our the Holy Spirit and gifts into other people's souls. So he's another one to be avoided. Um, now, obviously, this guy has deceased Oral Roberts, but the, the problem is that many, many uh, teachings are still around with Oral Roberts, still teaching. He was the founder of the Seed Faith Movement. In other words, that he was the one that wrote that book, and many people followed him. He also started up... Um, a college and and it's a freemason college i'll have to do a video on that as well but it's a freemason college and also he was the one that said if you don't send me a million and a half dollars god's going to kill me so yeah he's he's deceased so the next person here is pat robertson yes this guy is heavily involved in the new apostolic reformation he's also a freemason and is to be avoided like the plague guys run so here we have Patricia King, who doesn't believe that Jesus is God. Now, I've done a video on her and Josh, um, and she doesn't believe that Jesus is God. She's heavily into mysticism, angels, um, gold dust, glory clouds, all of that kind of mystic, satanic garbage. She's all into that. So you st she's involved with the New Apostolic Reformation as well. Here we have Paul Cain. Now, Paul Cain, back in the day, was considered to be an amazing prophet of God. But he got a lot of his prophecies wrong. And again, he was involved in the lineage of the new order of the latter reign, new apostolic reformation. Okay, so Paul Crouch, deceased, of course, but again, he, you guys know about him, very much involved. Uh, he was in, he was a leader of TBN. Um, as someone says totally blasphemous network but uh he was involved with that and he was heavily involved in uh, money and just asking people for money a lot and he was also involved in the new apostolic reformation and there were many um scandals around him with his homosexuality and stuff like that okay so the next person we're looking at is Paul David Youngie Cho. Now, Youngie Cho um, wrote a book called The Fourth, I think it's called The Fourth Dimension. And he, he is also involved in the New Apostolic Reformation, heavily involved in the Word of Faith. And let me tell you, millions of people follow this man. I need to do a video on this guy. Very important. So avoid him. Okay, so the next one. Sorry, guys. The next fellow here is called Paul Hammond. Uh, as you can see, he's on CBN. Um, he's heavily involved in the New Apostolic Reformation. Um, we know about Paula White. I mean, Paula White, uh, yeah, it, she is heavily involved in the New Apostolic Reformation, has been married three times. Is now married to uh, one of the lead singers of Journey. And uh, she was talking about pornography in her church. Uh, actually, her husband was, that it's good to use pornography. It helps the... It helps marriage, you know, stuff like that. So she's a total, unbelievable heretic. Okay, so the next one, let's just see. Okay, so Peter Popoff, I just recently did a video on him. He is vile, 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 vile. The guy has no compassion. He has no conscience. He's involved in the New Apostolic Reformation. He's all about money. He's all about spring, buy my spring water. Excuse my, my terrible American accent there. But... This guy is to be avoided a big time. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is a guy called Randy Clark. Now, Randy Clark, in the day, was with John Wimber. They were involved in the Toronto Blessing and all of the crazy manifestations with people, you know, crowing and cock the doodle do as a new day kind of stuff, you know. And that really actually happened at, at one of their um one of their meetings and also they would have people walking around with chains around their neck and all sorts of weird stuff going on and really demonic and he's still around very much still around so you avoid him reinhardt bonke a lot of people think seem to think that this guy is great but he's not he's actually heavily involved with benny hinn he's also involved in the new apostolic reformation and uh, he preaches a different gospel. He says basically that you have to speak in tongues to be saved. And that's totally unbiblical. Let's continue. Okay, so we have Richard J. Foster. Now, he's involved, again, in the New Apostolic Reformation. And we have a guy called Richard Twist. Now, Richard Twist was, um, he's involved, well, 
he was involved with the New Apostolic Reformation, and he was also um, the what you call it Ameri uh, American Indian. He was very well respected among the American Indians because he himself is an um, Amer an American Indian. So let's continue on. Okay, so we know Rick Joyner now. Rick Joyner, I've talked about him in other videos, but. He is a heavy, heavily into Luciferianism. There's a lady called Michelle McCumber, and uh, she was involved in this ministry that he does, and uh, she saw firsthand how he was invited to be initiated into Luciferian light. So I'll try and leave that link underneath for you, but he's also involved in the New Apostolic Reformation very much so. Okay, so the next person, Rick Warren. Now, we all know about Rick Warren. Rick Warren is involved with Chrysler, which is Islam. He's involved with the Roman Catholic Church, Catholic Come Home. He's also involved in the New Apostolic Reformation. He also invited Dr. Oz and a few other um, very much pagans, mystic pagans, into his quote-unquote church, which isn't a church because this guy is, you know, and he wrote the, the um, what they call it, something driven life, the purpose driven life, which is totally unscriptural. Okay, so let's continue on. So that's New Apostolic Reformation. Okay, here we have Rob Bell, total heretic. The guy is involved in New Apostolic Reformation, but he doesn't believe in hell and he thinks that love will all win and we'll all get there, you know, so he doesn't even believe in the true gospel. People live, but and he's also involved in the emergent churches, which means that they don't have really any doctrine. It's just kind of, oh, let's discuss the doctrines. Let's see what we think and all this kind of nonsense. So vain philosopher, basically. So, you, And he's involved in the new apostolic reformation also. So here we have Robert Schuller, the deceased Robert Schuller. Now, Robert Schuller had an effect, a huge effect on the new apostolic reformation he was also um involved with the word of faith movement and um he is um just totally heretic he talked to billy graham and he said oh there's a wideness in god's mercy when billy graham said that there isn't the oh, there isn't only one way to god and that's through jesus so this guy you know unfortunately his information is still going around and Ravi Zacharias went to visit with him and Ravi Zacharias is ecumenical also and um, thinks that Joyce Meyer is a terrific teacher so yeah so the next thing I want to show you here is Robert Tilton now <laughs> you guys know about Robert Tilton the guy that blinks a lot and, and he's the biggest actor he's so fake it's it's just I've never seen such fake acting in all my life, but unfortunately there were many precious souls that were deceived with him. He was a, wor a word of faith and teacher. Now he's still around, but he's not doing so good. Um, but he was all about the money and he got caught out. They did a documentary about him and they found out what he was doing, but he wasn't praying over the letters that people were sending. He was throwing them in the garbage can at so outside his building and they found all his stuff and of course he went nuts and since then his quote-unquote ministry is not so good okay. <laughs> even though he's still around. Okay so here's this next fella Robert Learden. Now I want to explain to you about Robert Learden. Just before I say anything the guy is involved in was heavily involved in the order, new order of the latter reign when I was a baby Christian. I went to see this man. This also, this man is heavily involved in the ecumenical movement. Believes, believed that uh, Catherine Coleman was a tremendous woman of God. Believed that Amy Semple McPherson was a tremendous woman of God. And he thinks that, you know, there's so many people that he thinks they're the generals of the faith that are just charlatans. And also this guy was in, um, Richard Slaughter was in a, a scandal whereby he was living with his homosexual lover, quote unquote. Um, so yeah, so he also is heavily involved in the new order, the new order of the latter reign and obviously it's called Nari now. So let's continue on. So here we have Rod Parsley. Rod Parsley is a word of faith mogul. He's all about give me your money and uh, basically doesn't care about anyone but himself. Again, New Apostolic Reformation. This guy is Rodney Howard Brown. Now, 
for you young ones out there who weren't around in the 1990s, early 1990s, this guy started off what they called the Laughing Revival, where, you know, and he used to shout out, um, bubble from your belly, and they'd all start laughing, and he'd go, ha ha, ho ho, bubble from your belly, ha ha, ho ho, and he went on and on and on, and then people would literally start manifesting, falling on the floor, and just doing the most ridiculous stuff you ever saw. Now, scripture says that God is a God of order and he's a God of intelligibility, but this man was not. He taught, he teaches a different gospel and he is involved in the new apostolic reformation. Please beware of him. He is still around to this day. Okay, so the next fella, or the next woman, should I say, this is Ruth. Heflin. Now Ruth Heflin was involved in the New Apostolic Reformation. She has been deceased, but I'm sure maybe some of my older listeners would remember her. Okay, so we go further. Okay, so here we have R. W. Schumbach again, Word of Faith, and uh, you know, just false doctrine, New Apostolic again. Okay, so here we have Steel Steve Hill. Now, unfortunately, he's uh, deceased, but he was heavily involved in the new apostolic reformation and if you're listening to any of his stuff please stop it's not going to be good for your spirit okay so here we have another guy called steve muncie another charlatan um who's involved in the new apostolic reformation td jakes who's a oneness pentecostal who believes in the manifestations that there are three in the trinity the three manifestations he does not believe in the trinity he is an out and out um total heretic but is also heavily involved in the new apostolic reformation so here we have again this guy is called ted haggard now for those of you who don't remember back in 2006 ted haggard was head of the evangelical alliance in america there were millions of people that were going to his church in colorado springs and what happened with him was that he was caught with a male prostitute and drugs he denied it vehemently but he was found to actually be that it was true he was also helping president bush at the time he was um kind of like what what paula white is now to the president that's what he used to do is advise the president of the united states but of course he got caught out he denied it and this prostitute came out and, ex and exposed him but he's back um, they threw him out of the church in Colorado Springs and he came back and he started another church called St. James. Now, I don't know if St. James is still around, but this guy is definitely a wolf. You need to be very careful. This guy is a narcissistic. When he did all this, he had something like seven children. His wife was at home. His wife stood by him. A very brave woman. I have to give her that. Um, and did seven children and all he could think about was himself he went on to do many different tv shows and um, he went on to a tv show with a guy who was just heavily involved in mysticism it was just a mess so you just avoid him like the plague again ted haggard new apostolic reformation okay so we all know ted todd ted bentley todd bentley okay Todd Bentley, Bam Bam Bentley, um, basically New Apostolic Reformation, teaches a false gospel. He very much loves um, William Branham. William Branham had an angel called Emma. This guy, this guy had an angel called Emma as well. He said that Emma um, came to him, and then of course he denied it. And he's also given a prophecy that said that he went to heaven, and there was loads of boxes being taken out of him and put back in again. And he's just. <laughs> Uh, to say the very least avoid him like the plague if you are a baby christian i have done a video on this guy he also divorced his wife and um also he re he had an adulterous relationship with a woman left his precious wife and his children and went off with this other woman now they're on the road together absolutely causing mayhem to people's souls absolute mayhem horrendous and he also used to kick people in the stomach and stuff like that said that that was healing okay so the next person here is tommy tenney now tommy tenney again involved in the new apostolic reformation so we have tony campolo as well new apostolic reformation avoid very well known man let's continue 
Here we have Tony Jones. He would have been involved in the emergence uh, movement, but he's also involved in the New Apostolic Reformation. Okay, so here we have William Branham. One of the main starters that started all of this was William Branham. William Branham was not only a Freemason, he also did not believe in Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. He didn't believe in the Trinity. He said that the Trinity was of the devil and that he didn't believe in that. He also believed that an angel called Emma came to him and, and, uh, you know, all of, he was supposedly a healer, but he was using a demonic spirit called Emma, the same as Todd Bentley was using. Also, but also just demons were working through this man. So, YWAM. Okay, so this is the last one that I'm going to show you. Now, YWAM, a lot of people ask about YWAM. YWAM is, I was actually, believe it or not, involved with YWAM, YWAM in the mid-90s when I didn't know better. I actually went up to their building in Dublin and yeah, I thought I was helping to evangelize. But while I was up there, I saw priests blessing themselves. And I realized, and I was talking to one of the people, and they were praying to Mary. So YWAM is very much towards the Roman Catholic Church. It's also heavily involved in the New Apostolic Reformation. So if you have teenagers and you're listening to this, I might actually do a longer video on YWAM, but I will let say to you, if you have teenagers, or young people and you're my age 49 or maybe even earlier you're in your 30s and you have teenagers just warn you know just be careful that's all i'll say so guys that's all i have for you at the moment as far as a list of people that you need to avoid and um, i will be doing more videos of course um on particular people in this video but this was just, just to give you a taste and, and who are not safe as they say okay so that's all i have for you at the moment i am um, like i always say may the lord bless you may the lord keep you and may the lord let his light to shine upon you and i'll talk to you super soon bye for now bye bye